and welcome back everybody to another episode of Metroid Prime. On the last episode, uh, we gathered all the artifacts from Chozo Ruins and Magmore Caverns, and today we're in Vendrana. Um, but before we do any artifact hunting, I want to gather some expansions from around here. First of which I believe is somewhere up here. Let me get rid of this real quick. Alright. I believe we scanned this before and it said it's Cordite. Well, we couldn't do anything with Cordite before, but now we know that Cordite can be destroyed by Super Missile. So what does this tell us? Something seems to have been activated. Okay. Spider ball track. And missile expansion. Okay, so our logbook is telling us that the artifact of sun is in some sort of temple in Fendrana. And that's exactly where we are. So, it's said to thaw the ice flowing from the Elder's hands. So, I'm assuming he means this right here. So, let's see if Plasma Beam does anything. Oh, yeah. Now, what's that mean? Okay. Um. Can we get in there? Yes. Okay, that opens up a passageway to the artifact. Sweet. Okay, so we're in Ice Ruins East where there seems to be a spider ball track, which leads to another missile expansion. Aha! I heard something, and there's a missile expansion right behind this wall. What does it say? Ice covering this opening. Opening. Blah, I can't words. Uh, the ice covering this opening can be melted by extreme heat. Well, we have extreme heat. And missile expansion. And here in Ice Ruins West, we have another sheet of ice that we can melt. And inside we find power bomb expansion. Okay, so here in Research Lab Hydra, we have a column that we can scan that says it's made of cordite. So let's shoot it open and see what's behind. Missile expansion, sweet. Okay, so we're here at the control tower, and our logbook tells us that we need to collapse a tower to reveal a chamber where the artifact is held. So, one of these two towers needs to come down, but how do we do that? There's an interesting little area up here. What can we find? Nothing of interest here. What's behind the crates? What's that say? A large fuel cell attached to the base of this tower. Radon, radion, outer casing of the structure um, appears damaged and unstable. Hmm. Can we seriously not get rid of this crate? Apparently not. Um, can we lock onto this thing? No, we cannot. Okay. Uh, I guess maybe my beam wasn't fully charged before. But, let's see... Let's try shooting just missiles at it and see what happens. That did something. Okay, so that seems to have opened up a hole 
where the tower fell. Let's see what's under here. Aha! One more artifact. And here we are in Research Lab Ether, where there is a missile expansion that we need to get to. We have a platform here that we need to roll across very carefully, so as not to fall off, as I just did. Um, let me try to get back up there. Alright. Very, very careful. Eek. I hate these. Okay, got it. Okay, so we're here in the gravity chamber where we saw a missile expansion before that we couldn't reach. And I s ooh, this looks scannable. One of the minerals detected in the ice structure appears to be a volatile form of volcanic rock. Rock makes the formation incredibly strong against tremors and concussive blasts, but it will become unstable if heat is introduced. So basically, melt the ice. Okay, that's cool. Um, that's a grapple point. Can we jump up there from here? Perhaps? Maybe? Yes, please? Yes! Got it. And we're here at Fendrana's Edge, where this is the highest we could get before, but now we have the grapple beam, so we can explore some new territory here. That. All right. Looks like standard platforming. Okay. Let's see if we can get all the way to the top. I have another one of those gliders. Let's see if we can let him get a little further before we grab on. Okay. I see a morph ball tunnel over here. Which leads to a power bomb expansion. But I believe our logbook entries mentioned something about Fendrana's Edge. Under the Artifact of Spirit, it says a tall cave stands at Fendrana's Edge. Seek the unseen entrance at its top to find the Artifact of Spirit. Okay, so we're looking for some sort of unseen entrance, as it put it. So, I think that's a pretty good hint to use, perhaps, the x-ray visor. Okay, I don't see anything just yet. Let's go down a little further. Let's get back where we were, if we can. So... Aha! There's a door here. Can we scan anything? Nope. Bombs? How about super missile? Nope. Let's try the ever faithful power bomb. Sweet. Okay. Plasma beam, plasma beam door. Business as usual. Artifact acquired. Okay, so here in the Frost Cave, there seems to be a missile expansion that we cannot access. Um, seems to be solid ice. I don't see anything on the ice that we can scan. 
X-ray visor tells us nothing. Neither does thermal visor. So how do we break the ice? Well, we could start with a missile. And with that, we have access to a missile expansion. And here in Pendrana's transport access, we have some ice that we can melt to, well, if I can use the right beam. And that lets us get another missile expansion. And here in the quarantine cave, we have some grapple points we can use. If I can make this jump right. Got it. And there's a morph ball tunnel which leads to another missile expansion. All right, so we're finished in Fendrana, and we're here in the Phazon Mines. And if we'll look in our logbook, it says the artifact of Newborn, for, for the clue here, it says invaders mine the depths in their greed of the great poison to claim the artifact of Newborn. So we're looking for a place called Tunnel, which this looks like a perfect place, Phazon Mining Tunnel. So, let's see what we can find. I hear something already. So there's definitely something down here. Let's hope it's the artifact. And indeed it is. One down, one to go. Okay, so we had some technical problems, and my thing didn't record, so I'm having to go back through and gather some of the things I already got. But the first one was here in the fungal hall access, right under this mushroom, but as you can see, I already got it, so that one, but I'll get the others. Um, yeah, see you at the next location. And here in Elite Control Access, there's a crate up there that we can shoot, and it explodes to reveal a missile expansion. Okay, so in our logbook, under the Artifact of Warrior, research lies within the mines. A corrupted invader is trapped there. Defeat, th defeat this creature to claim the Artifact of Warrior. So, we are here in Elite Research, where there seems to be some sort of, something similar to the Elite Pirates, but he looks a little bit different. Now, he's got some cracks on his case. Can we break him out of there, maybe? Not with regular bombs. How about a power bomb? That did it. Phazon Elite. Elite Pirate infused with energized Phazon. The Phazon charged Elite Pirate rely more on their quake generators, opting not to carry the vulnerable plasma artillery cannons normally used by elites. The direct fusing of Phazon into their bodies provides a tremendous level of energy. The drastically lower lifespan that is of little concern to the pirate research team. So basically, he's much stronger than the regular elite pirate, but still no match. I think. And 
that's it. Facts. Though, we do have a lot more expansions and things to gather. And I've never 100%ed this game, but I really want to. So I think we're going to move on to that before we do anything with the impact crater. Okay, so here in the mine security station, we have a plasma beam door that we do not have access to. But luckily, we have a blast gate here made of bendesium, which reveals a control panel. And through this door, we have... The flamethrower. So now we have all four, char four charge combos. There's the classic super missile. And the wave buster. The ice spreader. And the flamethrower. Also, here in Security Access A, we have another Bendesium Gate, which reveals another missile expansion. Uh, missile expansions around here, one of them being in the Phazon Processing Center, where we can see behind this wall there's a missile expansion. We can't quite get to it. See, shoot it with super missile. Nope. Will a power bomb do anything? Yes. And here in Fungal Hall V, we have another missile expansion just hidden in a little dark corner over here. That where'd it go? Where'd it go? Did I just walk past it? Right there, right? Can I not? Is there a wall here? Yes, there's a wall here. Well. Boom. Maybe. Yes, please. Thank you. No? Did I just... I rolled right past it. Okay. And here in the Life Grove Tunnel, we can hear a missile expansion somewhere around here. And if we get on top of this thing and manage to stay there... <laughs> Emo. No. This should not be that difficult. Nya. No. I just want to get up there. Mm. Okay. So if we bomb this little section here, it opens up a hole which leads to a missile expansion. And here at the frigate crash site, we have, up in a little cubby hole in the water, another missile expansion. Here in the watery hall access, there is a missile expansion behind this wall. So let's see what can break it. The missile does the job, and we get a missile expansion. Here in the watery hall, if we go under the water somewhere... Here we go. There should be a missile expansion around here somewhere. Is this it? Yes! And here in training chamber access, there's a tree that looks rather incon inconspicuous, but if we roll underneath, we'll find a little tunnel that leads to another missile expansion. And here in the ruined gallery, we have a little morph ball tunnel here. We can just hop up into and find another missile expansion. But also in this room, there's a wall over here that is made of brimstone. So we should be able to break it with a missile and find one more missile expansion. 
And here in Triclops Pit, we have some invisible platforms. We can jump across. There's another one here. All right, what's next? Oh, this one's falling. Where, where am I supposed to go with this? Aha! I see something there. Okay. Got it. And here in Vendrana Shorelines, behind a sheet of ice, is our last missile expansion. 100% of all pickups acquired. Sweet. So, we've now 100% of the game, got all the items in the game, done pretty much everything, except for the impact crater. But, unfortunately, we don't have time, so we'll have to do that on the next episode. Sorry for all the audio and video glitches this time around, because I had some trouble with updates to programs and operating system and everything, but... I think all the kinks have been ironed out by now, and we'll be good to go for our next, maybe our last episode. Hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time.